it It's time I made it to the top Give me a break, I'm looking forward Get behind me, pull out every star I want a happy ending, I'm tired of pretending Won't let them get the best of me Whoa, 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 give me a break The game is a Bible Give me a break And plan my arrival Give me a break For heaven's sake What happened to my piece of the cake Give me a break Because we're going to be alone tonight, and I thought we should spend some time together as a family. Forget the TV. Who needs furniture that talks? Can't we at least find out if JR is going to luck out with the lady truck driver? <laughs> when did you stop watching Sesame Street? How do I look? You look great. That's a terrific dress. I know. It's my uh, layaway dress. One look and it lays them away. Are you and Angie really going to a singles bar? That's right, dear. No more staying home and watching TV for us. We're going to meet those amazing animals in person. <laughs> You going out with Angie? That's right, Chief, and no smart remarks about Angie. There is nothing wrong with her. Nell, you gotta admit she's a little weird. And spaced out. Angie is not weird or spaced out. She's different. <laughs> she has smog in the head. <laughs> Look, I have to go. Well, good luck with the guys. Dear luck has nothing to do with it. I'm a good-looking, witty, warm woman. And any man would be glad to be with me. <laughs> good night. Pray for me anyway. <laughs> The thing to do in these places is to be natural and cool. Hi, my name's Bob. My name is Angie. I'm natural and cool. <laughs> Angie, you are too much. Can I order you something? Have you ever had a black Russian? No, but I once spent the weekend with the one-legged Mexican. <laughs> Get out of here and find some place with a little more privacy. Don't you think we ought to get to know each other better first? No. I'm talking about a nice, quiet restaurant. Champagne, caviar. Keep talking. Stimulating conversation about the theater. Oh, that sounds good. Then we're going to go to my place, get naked, and cover ourselves in Western oil. <laughs> a room full of guys, and I wind up with a salad freak. Pick it to order. Maybe that's too advanced. Why don't we start with you in a Girl Scout uniform? Why don't I wear my own uniform? You know, I'm a lady cop. 
I knew that. I was just putting you on. I'm really a priest. Good night, lady. Hi, my name's Bob. Hey, look, Angie, you know, maybe we shouldn't get our hopes up too high. We can always just sit here and chat. Okay, sure. Oh, look, Neil, there's another room just like this one. Angie, that's the mirror over the bar. <laughs> oh. I am in big trouble. Neil, excuse me, I'll be right back. I think I have to go to the ladies' room. Can I bring you anything? <laughs> no, you just go. Oh, go for me while you're there, okay? <laughs> Me, but would you like a peanut? Sure, thanks. You know, if you put that in your ear, you can hear the circus. Why'd you put it in your ear? Is it is it happy hour yet? Not for me, it isn't. Oh, don't be sad, lady. Would you like to uh... dance? Oh, I thought you'd never ask. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I don't know. I just got here myself. Hi, Neil, I'm back. Guess what? You didn't have to go. <laughs> Angie, let's go try to find the action on the dance floor, OK? Why? <laughs> Good evening. Hello. I'm Ray. I'm Nell. You know, I've been trying to meet you ever since you came in that door this evening, Nell. <laughs> really? But you've been surrounded by all these guys. Well, that's what you get for being a 10. <laughs> uh, I hope you don't think that I'm being too forward, but I'd like to ask you a question. Sure. Would you mind introducing me to your tall girlfriend? I think she's a knockout. Hey, Angie, it's for you. <laughs> this is Angie. Angie, this is... Ray. Hi. Uh, Dan? Sure. Whoa. <laughs> hey, Angie, can I have the keys to the car, please? Why, you gonna drive home now? No, Angie, I'm gonna wait in the trunk. <laughs> Uh-huh. Kids go out already? Uh-huh. Think I need a bra with this dress I'm wearing? Uh-huh. <laughs> you upset about that singles bar last night? I'm not gonna ever talk to another man as long as I live. Okay, pretend I'm an it. 200 pound it. <coughs> Come on, cheer up. Everybody has an occasional bad night. Occasional? The last time the earth moved for me, it was an earthquake. <laughs> well, don't let a few bad apples spoil the whole barrel. It's not the apples, Chief. It's the worms I wind up with. <laughs> Do you have any idea how hard it is to find a decent man nowadays? Now, somewhere out there is the right guy. Don't give up. You still got a few good years left. A few good years. Thanks. You would be a great cheerleader on death row. No, I mean it. You're a terrific person underneath. Underneath what? All that beauty. No, there's something wrong with me. There's nothing wrong with you. Believe me. I wish there was some way I could prove that to you. There is. Why don't you get in your car, drive around, and come back with Billy D. Williams? <laughs> I gotta get going. 
You gonna be okay? Sure. I got lots of chores to keep me busy. I think I'll go sit in the trash compactor. <laughs> Tuesday. <laughs> Go do your homework. But I'm hungry now. Go eat your geography book. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> I'm coming! <laughs> Chief, I said I heard you. I... Now this is Sergeant Ken Taft. Ken's a bachelor, and I thought he'd enjoy it. I must say, this is one of the best meals I've had in a long time. The chicken was great. Nell, how do you do it? She called Dial a chicken. <laughs> I think the potatoes were terrific. Yeah. yeah. I love instant potatoes. <laughs> uh, Nell's not just a good cook. She's real smart, too. And she's funny, and she's a nice person who cares a lot about people. Oh. This is true. You see, underneath this makeup, I'm really Alan Alder. <laughs> Girls, what do you say we give Nell a break and we'll do the dishes tonight? Pass up the plates. You do the dishes? Daddy, you never do the dishes. Well, there's a first time for everything, Sam. Come on. There's 50 cents in it for you. 50 cents? Do you know what 50 cents will buy? Some tape for your mouth. Now move it, Sam. <laughs> That's some family the Chief's got. Yeah. I love big families. Myself, I'd like to have about six. Six? I guess we know how you spell relief. <laughs> you know, you're everything the Chief said you were. Really? Nell, I consider myself very lucky tonight. Good. Want to play strip poker? <laughs> I mean, meeting you. Ah, uh, stop. I'm serious. Come on. You're attractive. Oh, come on now. Intelligent. Oh, please. Funny. Oh, no. Please don't stop. Are you going to be busy later tonight? Well, um... Come on. I know a cozy little bar with a fireplace. We could relax, get to know each other over a bottle of rosé. What do you say? Well, I, I, uh, I can't stay out late now. Mm. You see, I've been swinging all week, and my teeter is about to totter. <laughs> what the hell, let it totter. <laughs> Just give me a few minutes to throw something on. Hurry. <laughs> Oh, uh, too new. Too plain. Out of style. Gravy stain. Does nothing for my figure. 
does too much for my figure. Dear, I wanted to all hang out without letting it get away from me. Maybe I've got something you could wear. How about a halter top? Honey, I want to light his fire, not melt his brain. I don't see what all the fuss is about. Why don't you just throw on a pair of jeans and a t-shirt? Sam, look inside your own t-shirt. Do you see anything? No. Talk to us when you do. <laughs> maybe Sam's right. I mean, maybe I should let him see the real me. I mean, the plain me. I really would, except for one thing. What? My mama did not raise a fool, honey. Give me that mascara. <laughs> I don't have a big assortment. Got some red wine, remains of a jug of white, blue wine. Oh, that's Nell's Windex. That's some Napoleon brandy. Sounds good. Don't see much of that on my salary. Don't worry, Ken. You're a smart guy, you'll do fine. Thank you, sir. How do you take it? Neat. By the way, a word around the precinct is there's a slot opening up for detective first grade. Yeah, we are looking for someone. Ken, I want to tell you how pleased I am that things went so well between well, you and Nell tonight. I am too. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't usually get involved in, well, you know, dating and romance and all that garbage. <laughs> no problem about Nell, sir. She's okay. She really is something, isn't she? One of a kind, Chief. <clears throat> but you don't have to thank me. I'm always ready to do a friend a favor. A favor? Sure. What are friends for? Right, Chief? OK, uh, what do you think? Nell, incredible. I mean, it, it's, it's not too much? No. No, you know, see, I, I want to be sexy, but also want to be classy. You see, I want to be a cross between Queen Elizabeth and Lola Falana. <laughs> Where's Ken taking you? Oh, somewhere where we can be alone. <laughs> Great. Now, Nell. Huh? Remember, you've got to act interested, but don't come on too strong. Yeah, and, and be sure to flatter him a lot. You guys are suckers for that. Oh. Thank you, girls, for your suggestions. Oh, Samantha, listen. Do you have anything to add from your vast knowledge of men, huh? Yeah. If he tries to pour soda down your back, punch his lights out. <laughs> The way I see it, we're all part of one big team. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Oh, wait a minute. I thought you were going out with her because you liked her. I do like her, Chief. Good. <laughs> She's got a terrific personality. I knew you'd feel that way. She may not be the most stunning person in the world. Well, what do you mean? Come on, Chief. You have to admit, she is on the heavy side. Well, she is a bit overweight, but... <laughs> a bit? My guess is, right now, she's slipping into something more comfortable, like the Houston Astrodome. <laughs> Man, I bet when she goes to the doctor, he tells her to open wide and go, moo. <laughs> that was a good one, wasn't it, Chief? <laughs> <laughs> That's very clever, Ken. You're going to make a great detective. And your first job will be finding my fingerprints all over your face. What do you mean? I mean, I heard of a wolf in sheep's clothing, but you're slime in a sport coat. Oh. <laughs> that was a good one, huh? That was funny, Chief. Get out of here. Wait a minute. I didn't mean anything. Help! Or I lose my temper and you lose your masculinity. <laughs> Good night, sir. Eat your heart out, Nancy Reagan. <laughs> hey, where's Ken? Uh, Ken uh, went to... Uh... Ah, the bathroom. You better sit down. He's gonna be there that long? <laughs> Chief, listen. 
I really want to thank you for what you tried to do. Listen, now. No, wait. See, I know you come on like you're mean and grumpy, but you really do have a heart. Yeah, well. And I want you to know that I am very grateful. Now he's gone. Ken's gone. I mean, what do you mean? Well, here it is. His mother called. She's dead. <laughs> Chief, come on. Give me the truth. Come on. Well, the, the truth is that it's a religious problem. Uh, he has to marry a virgin. <laughs> oh, Chief. He left because he thought I was too fat, didn't he? Yeah. Huh. And I lost my temper and threw him out. Well, thanks for that. Listen, kiddo, I'm sorry. No, no, d don't worry about me. Listen, you know what they say about us fat people. We are always jolly. Look, now, you know we, we all love you. Please don't, don't touch me. Now can I touch you? <laughs> it's all right. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Your gun is poking me in the stomach. <laughs> now we're really sorry. And you look so pretty. Yeah, I've had it. I'm through with men for life. <laughs> Forget that guy, kiddo. Somewhere out there is the right guy. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, I'm through. Listen, th there is just so much a person can take, and I really can't take anymore. I have tried to be up. I have tried to be cheerful. But how many times did a truck have to roll over you before you finally get the message? Oh. Look, I I'm, I'm, I'm through. My date brought his brother along, and what a hunk. Do you want to go with us? <sighs> Somebody once said that the opera is not over till the fat lady sings. <laughs> Tonight!